All right, taking a look at the next seven days, we are going to be starting off today getting only to those mid to upper 60s across much of central Texas. Now, I will tell you, this is going to be the coolest day of the next seven because we're going to warm up quite nicely because we have a ridge of high pressure. It's going to be making its way in, and we're going to be getting to those low to mid 80s throughout the course of the weekend as a result because we're going to get the wind shift to a more southerly flow, and that's going to allow for that warmer air mass to make its way into central Texas. Could get a little bit muggier, and we could have a little bit more in terms of cloud cover for your Sunday, but I do think we are going to be mostly dry over these next seven days. We are watching a system coming through late Tuesday into Wednesday that could bring us another chance for some of those thunderstorms. Now, there is that ridge of high pressure that's making its way through. It's going to be making its way through the central third of the country by the time we get to Sunday and into Monday as well. There is that upper level low that's pretty much situated over the Intermountain West, over portions of Oregon, as well as the Bay Area of California. Could be bringing them quite a bit of rain as well. And then that will make its way into central Texas, and that's going to allow us for our next real chance of some rain could have some strong storms embedded in that, but it's still too early to say for sure. But we do have winds mainly coming out of the northwest from this big upper level low over portions of Missouri as well as Iowa and Illinois. High pressure in the far southern portions of the state along the Rio Grande, and that's going to allow for us to stay dry today. But then we do have a few isolated clouds in some of our far northern zones, but other than that, we will be breezy and a bit on that dry side. That includes downtown Temple. This is actually a live look on the south side along the HK Dodge and Loop. Just a light west northwesterly breeze. Feels like 40, even though we are in those mid 40s, because we are having some of that light wind take some of that warmth and some of that body heat off of our bodies. So it makes it feel a little bit cooler than the actual air temperature. We're hovering around those mid 40s, some lower 40s popping up on the map, including places like Waco, some upper 30s even as you head up to the 35 split in Hillsboro. They're checking in at 38, but we're pretty much hovering around those mid to upper. 40s in Bryan College Station as well as Brenham down in Washington County in the Brazos Valley. We're starting off getting to those mid 60s. We'll be a bit milder than we were yesterday because yesterday we were in those lower 60s. Some areas maybe didn't even get out of the 50s, but we do have that northwesterly breeze at 10 to 20 miles an hour. That makes it feel slightly cooler throughout the course of the afternoon. And for your low tonight, I'm going to officially call 40. Just variable winds though, but we are going to start to see those winds shift to a more southerly flow, and that's going to allow for those warmer temperatures to move on in. As a result of this, I'm going to give this an 8 on the Jordan meter because we are going to be slightly below average. We do have those winds in place coming out of the northwest. It's going to keep us cool with that cold air advection. And then also, though, we still do have those mostly sunny skies. So really nice day to take your dog out or go out for a picnic. Just make sure you hold on to that picnic basket and that picnic blanket so that it doesn't fly off. Jasmine?